that. Nearly done. We've nearly got another one finished. Absolutely fantastic. Which is going to, like I said, it's going to be about 60 points for this. And that's only going to leave us with about 140 points left in order to be able to finish all of this. And that 140 points, we maybe three jobs. We might be able to get that done in three. I'm hoping we can. If we can do that in three jobs, we then we reach the rank of corporal. So that means we get some more bonuses. Uh, the bonuses I'm not so concerned about anymore. Um, uh, yeah, I think we'll, we'll be fine with those. What I'm interested to find out is when we're going to get a new plane. We should be pretty close to getting a new plane, I think. But I don't know if that's going to if we got to get to the uh, rank of corporal before we get the next plane to be working on. I don't know when the devs of the game itself are going to be releasing um, more aeroplanes into the game. I'm hoping that it would be soon. I am hoping that there will be um, more added in soon. It, there are going to be more. Don't worry. There's definitely going to be more added in. We know that. They've already said a number of times. All right. Just put that one into there. And you. Right, all the way over to there. And that one. There we go. And, oops. There we go. Right, that's the underside done. Let's do the gun port patches and then we can finish off with the last bit. You, you, and you. Ammo belt, breach cover, gun port door. That's another job done. Breach cover. Yep. That one down. That one down. There. And uh, finally, ammo belt. Breach cover. Gun port. Task complete. Rearm all the guns. That should be all primary task complete. I've put all the covers and everything back on. Everything is finished. There we go. Right. Hang on. Why did that say 301 now? Where did I get that extra one point? Because I didn't have an extra point before, did I? So why have I gained an extra point? Oil filled over max. Some parts may get damaged. Good. Oh, no. We lost points. That's not good. That's where we, we, we had that little error with the oil. I didn't realize it cost you that much. I think this is going to be fairly quick. No enemy contacts. Refuel the aircraft for the next flight. That's it. I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to say that this is going to be a fairly quick job. So let me go to there. Do you think we'll get the perfect job bonus for this? Are they going to give us all a pat on the back and say, well done. You refueled that aircraft like nobody's business. Like, you know, we're seriously proud of you. Uh, I reckon that's going to be 55 gallons. It's going to go into there. How are we doing? Ooh, about 56, 57 gallons. It's within five. We got that. We got it. Smack on the money again. Right, we put you away, and then I can climb up onto here. And don't forget to put the fuel cap back on. It's something we do occasionally forget. We can hear it doing up. Job done. There we go. Five points for that. Final result, perfect job. Another 30. That takes us all the way to 2, 3, 7, 5. We've got 125 to go. If we don't overfill with oil, we should be fine. Uh, engaged returning fighter escort. Few hits on one. Enemy ran away without a fight. Replaces gun port patches. Refuel, rearm. Right, well, that's a very quick, basic job to do again that we've done many times now. I'm, I'm starting to think that maybe we've actually got to reach Corporal before it will give us the next aeroplane. I'm thinking that's what we're waiting on. Uh, we're looking at 60 gallons here. I think we're looking at 60 gallons here. That's my guess, is 60. And, oh, 61. Look at that. Very good. Okay, let's pop you back over there. Scramble back up and... Yeah, right, put you on. Uh, what was it? 
rearm and oh and the gunport patches right so okay that's 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 easy enough let's let's go along and we've obviously got to do all of this again we've we've done this a time or two in the past we have done this a time or two so let's just pop you up and then the breach cover and then that one over there and then we can do that bit over there like that if i can breach cover there we go all right a patch down under there and let's take you off like that and you there and that one and then this one over this side not the one in the middle it's that one that we don't need to do right pop you out there and then that one there like that and then we can just remove them like that i've got the gun port patches there like that right that's the first one over this way there there and then let's start whipping these out breach cover take you over and breach cover on there and then that one over to there and the breach cover and then that one over there and then finally the breach cover on that one back in underneath very quickly so we go to that one down there and i'm too far away on that just move in a little bit and then we can take that one off there we can remove that and then that excellent and then we go down through this one and then this one ammo door you know, it, it's a shame that you don't have a thing where you can just, like, have somebody else do that particular job for you. Because it does take a while, doesn't it? Although, I think, you know, I think actually it doesn't take that long. I think it's just because we've done it so many times. It started, you know, I know it's a tedious job. I know it's, it's a little bit of a tedious job, isn't it? That's, that's probably what half of it is. Okay, let's just pop these gun port patches on back over there. And then we can throw these ammo boxes back in. And then you there, and I want you there like that close you down and that one and then I'll do that one over there right let's just move up a little bit if I spin round there ammo box and that one up to there and then pop them on this is going to get us a few more points so like I said I suspect that we need to get to the corporal rank before it's going to allow us to move on to the next plane because the the basic bit at the moment is three planes in the game i uh, don't know when they're going to be adding more planes into the game they will be at some point there's uh how many was it i think they had like eight uh, eight plans for the original release and then there's going to be more of them after that so when you get all of them, I don't know, and then and then they'll be sort of adding more in as time goes on, and obviously it will depend on success and requests and popularity and, and so on and so forth. So, um, yeah, if the game does reasonably well, then they'll obviously they'll add in more. If the game doesn't do all that well, then they won't add in quite so many. The great thing that I like about this game so far is, that, yes, I've encountered bugs. I've had the game crash on me a couple times, but I haven't found anything yet that hasn't been fixed really quickly. Right, the devs on this particular title are very quick with patching everything out. If there's an issue that's come up, they've patched it very quickly. Suggestions such as the ability to turn off the timer, uh, they've gone through and they've done that very quickly as well. And this suggests a dev team that is very keen to make their product work and are working hard to make sure that it's going to be a success. And this, this is a good thing. This, this is only ever a good thing. When you've got a dev team that actively works hard to patch everything, um, yeah, it's, it, it's always good. It's kind of like Factorio, right? Factorio is essentially a finished game. They haven't classed it as finished yet. They, they are not interested in releasing that game until they are 100% happy. It's still early access. Factorio is still classed as early access. Anyway, we're not here to play Factorio. We're here to play this one, so there is another job done. Replace the gunport patches. There's five. 
Refuel, there's five. Rearm, there's five. And another 30 points on top of that. And that gives us two, four, 20. We've got 80 points to go. Let's go to the next bit. Enemy contact. Bombers without escort. Down two. Received a few hits. Replace the gun port patches. Refuel patch. Rearm. Replace. Same old, same old, really. Okay, let's get to it then. We'll do this fast. So how, how quickly we can do this. So we've, we've got... Okay, he said it receives a few hits. He's riddled with bullet holes over on his wing. That's not good. Be a bit more careful, dude. Like, seriously, you, you need to be a little bit more careful. Right. Uh, bring that one over and drop that in. And we'll refuel to see what we got. Uh, it's going to be 65 gallons. That's going to be 65. That one is. There we go. 30, 40, 50... 60, 67 gallons. I was two gallons out. That's, that's, well, it's within five. As long as it's within five, then we're all right. It's an acceptable margin of error. Uh, put that one on there. Right, so what else do I need to do? Gun port patches, machine guns, gun camera tape, and, the, and then do the patches. So we will do the rearming of the guns first. Like that. And I come back down here like this. Take you off. Gun port patch right there. Take you off. We've got a breach cover. We've got a breach cover. We've got a patch. And we got that one down there. Like that. We got a breach cover and we've got a patch. And then we can go in underneath and we can start doing this bit. So we take those. And that one. Like that. And then we take that one. And we've got an ammo box. And we've got another one. And then we can come over here. And we've got these bits over here. And we can take you out as well. Like that. And then I can do that one. And I can do that one. And look at all of the bullet holes under here. This is ridiculous. Seriously. What are you supposed to do with that? These are all... These all look like they're sort of pointing inwards right these here these these have all gone through the wings so someone came up from underneath shooting at him as they came up from underneath hole oh, bent outwards so we need to go we click on them all first so that you you cut round them I think that's all of them yeah right that's that's all of those done have we got any more over this side? No. Right, so it was just over that side that all of those were done. So let's just do these top ones a second. Like that, and obviously the breach cover. And we we'll go over there. And I'll take you off. Like that, breach cover, breach cover, and you over this side. With that one, and then we can come out over here. I already did that one. And then we go under here and we do the exact same again. Like that. It's a shame we can't have more of those. Alright, it would be a lot quicker if we could have some more of them. So let's just remove that one there and then move off of there. Like that. And then the ammo boxes can come out. Right. While I'm under here, let's have a look. Have we got... I don't think we do. I'm looking around here. It was just to see if we've got any more bullet holes under here. It doesn't look like we have. It does look like it's mostly the stuff underneath. Right. Hopefully that'll be alright. Hopefully we haven't got any um, major issues. Uh, we'll start putting everything back together now. So we've got the gun port patches, obviously, and the ammo boxes. These are the quick bits. And then we've got all of those bullet holes on that other wing. Which side is it? Starboard. On the port wing. On the port wing, we've got all of those other um, bullet holes. Absolutely loads of bullet holes on that port wing. You feel sorry for the guy. Like, the, that was a lot of enemy fire to be taking as, as you... Um, you're flying along. I've, it's got to be a fairly terrifying experience, hasn't it?
being shot at like that, having having all of those bullets ripping through your plane. And let's be honest, he's he's only sitting in a very small tin can here. He's not exactly sitting in a big plane. Right? It's it's not heavily armored or anything like that. He is just sitting in a small tin can, hoping and praying that one of those bullets doesn't actually hit him. Because if it does, it's game over. That's it. If he gets shot down, he does have a chance of being able to eject out of the plane and, and make it safely, but he doesn't always. Let's just do that bit there. Right, that's that side done there. Now we can come over here. So we've got uh, all of those. We've got, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's, t there's 12 bullet holes gone through on this side alone. That's the patches. Let's go under here. Because we got the same to do under here. We've got, um, there'll be probably 12 to do under here. I'm going to assume there is. They, 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 they were all through and through, weren't they? Yeah. So we'll start patching some of these. Like that. I've done one lot of bullets on this side. But we can break it up a little bit by doing some of these. Yeah, like that. Right, now I'll do that one a minute. Pop you back on, and then we can do that one there. Uh, we'll go and do the ones up the top in a bit. Right, we've got any more down here? I don't see any more down here. Need to bring that one up. Okay, we're... We've got strange things happening now. I'm just going to have to come out like that. Try that again. There. I'll go over to this way. Right. Put that one down. Put those in there like that. And I'll do a few more of these. And then we'll get the rest of the bullets loaded up. On the underside. And then all we've got to do is just finish patching on the top of the wing. And pull the bullets through into their respective slots. Let's put you in. Alright, let's, let's just quickly pop these in a minute. There, and you over this way, like that, Put that one over there, there we go, right, we'll fi finish doing the rest of the items under here that have got to be done, there's another one, that's the way to do it, like that, right, well oh, I nearly missed one down over there, is that one at the back down there? Let me miss that. Get all of those in. Uh, right, let's have a little scan around. Can you see any more bullet holes underside of the wing? I cannot. What's that? I don't think that is one under there. I think we're all right with that. Right, uh, over there. I've already done all of that. So let's start working on the ones on the outside edge over here. There, and I want that one over there. That's it. You remember what I said before about this thing is going to be uh, more patch than actual plane soon? It's getting closer and closer to that. It's definitely getting closer and closer to that point where we've got more patch than plane. You know, we haven't actually had, by some kind of miracle, we haven't had a patch overlapping any of the patches yet. I'm curious if we're going to get that. Because that, that's pretty close right there. Like that's, that is pretty close on that one. These seem big. Oh, of course they are slightly bigger because the hole was bent outwards. We had to... There. Because the hole was bent outwards, we had to cut a piece off of it first, didn't we? Right, let's put the ammo belt in. And that one. And we'll come back over here. Breach cover. You down like that. Breach cover. Put you down like that. Over here. Ammo belt. Breach cover. There's the guns rearmed. And we shouldn't be far off of repairing all of these as well. And then that is another task absolutely, completely, 100% finished. Let's drop you down there. And you... Put that one in. Excellent. One more up here. It's going to work. 
Task completed. Patch all the bullet holes. Okay, that is everything. Oh, oh wait. No, it's not. We very nearly forgot. We got one little job over here. This is like the easiest job that we've got on the whole plane, and we nearly forgot it. Right, it's like the, the, the quickest and easiest job that we've got to do. There. Put you back in there, and then put that cover back on. My goodness me, that's the last thing we want to do is forget that one. There, now it's done. All primary towers completed. There, and let's go. Right, so we get, uh, how many was it? It's 25. We get 55 points for this altogether, don't we? There, there's five. And then we get the 30 points on there. That's going to take us all the way up to 2, 4, 7, 5. We want 25 more points. It just refuel. If we could have one of those refueling jobs, that would, that would be brilliant. That will take us all the way to Corporal. This might be the easy job that we want. We've got to check the ignition system. Refuel the aircraft. No contact. Refuel and check ignition. This has got to be an easy job. This is. So we'll leap up on the hit. Look at all of the bullet patches. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Okay, let's whip that one off there. And just have you scramble up. Put the hose into there. And what have we got this time? There's no contact. Ooh, right, we got 45 gallons. My guess is 45. Actually, I think it's going to be more than that. It's going to be closer to 55, I'll bet. 52. Right, I was out. I said 45, I was wrong. I failed. Completely and totally failed in my task. I am not the engineer I thought I was. Uh, I should probably go back to doing something else. Let's just put that onto there. Right. Uh, you are done. Let's go to the top engine cowling. We've got to check the ignition system. Now, does that mean that we've also got to check all of the... Check the ignition system. Upper ignition wires. But what does... Does that mean that we've also got to check the... Um... Uh, the what he calls? The... You, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. The... Um... Spark plugs! Do we have to check spark plugs? I don't know. Lower ignition wires. Right, well, first up, let's check those. They are pristine. The upper ignition wires are also in pristine condition. And then we've got the magneto. That one's fan schmastic. Uh, it's not going to be there. It's, you know what, we're going to need to remove this one. I think it is a case of checking the... Uh, the, the spark plugs. Check spark plugs. So let's just drop down through to there. We've got the magneto in there. That one's fine. Right, it is, it's is—it's definitely got to be the spark plugs. That's what we've got to check. So how do we do that? Well, that one's alright. I found one. We've got six down each side, remember. So all we got is six down each side. That one's good. Spark plug. That one's good. That one's good. And that one's good. Right, so that one on those on that side are absolutely fine. So then we can go into this side and we can check in here. You are all good. So are you. By checking, they basically just mean find the one that is not okay. So we're pretty certain that there's going to be something in here that is not perfect. How many have I checked on? I, have, I, I don't know how many I've checked on this side. I haven't checked properly. Right. Got one, two, three. I've got four in here that I've checked. That one's good. That one's damaged. Right. I've got one damage down here. I probably should have just taken this off to start with. It would have been a lot easier. Right, whip that bit all off like that. And then go... Over this way, over here, so I've got that one spark plug on there. Right. Then we can go up to the top bit like this, and upper ignition wires. Pop all of them off. Take that bit out and pop all of them off like that. So then we can zoom in, and we can go to the check function, like this. Of course... Can I actually see to check under here? Spark plug. 
just. I can, I can sort of, well, I, I can sort of. It's not very easy, though. Mind you, I've done three. As long as I, there's one that's damaged. As long as I can reach them all, it doesn't really matter. That one's pristine. And that one there is okay. So I've, I've removed one. I've got, oop, nope, spark plug there. There's two more. I can see them under there. And that one. And then we've got you right there. You're fine. And you're fine. I've got one more over this side there that I can see. That one's fine as well. Okay, so I've got one damaged spark plug over there. So there is that one. Right, let's come out of that mode. And then we run over this way. And we go to you. Spark plug times two. There. So now we can go back over this way and we go to option number two. And we zoom in and we've got, where is these spark plugs? Oh no, it was alright on that side, wasn't it? There was one in here. Now this, this is the tricky bit, is trying to find the thing, get the thing back in there. I can put the ignition wire back on. Ah, there it is. Right. Let's put you back on to there like that. And then... Right, I go like this. Can I see it yet? Perhaps I shouldn't have put the ignition wires back on in the first place. Right, I'm looking around here. There's one under there, isn't there? Here it is. Ha 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 ha! Right. Got it, at last. And then put you back on there. And then I've got spark plug to go in there. And it's done. That's all we needed. We needed to just find those two. So we can do up all of those bits over there, like that, plus those bits there. Uh, perfect. Now we can put these cowlings back on. And that is going to take us to our next level, which means that we should now, once we've put these back on, we'll be able to get our new bonuses. And it's these bonuses that I've been waiting for. This is the bit that I've been really excited about. You out round there. You on... All the way around there. Oh, I wish it was a faster way of doing that. Okay, that bit's done. I'm stuck under the plane. <laughs> it's not going to let me go now. Not going to let it happen. Check ignition and refuel. Let's do this. Check ignition system. That was five points. Refuel. That was five points. And the final result, plus 30. That puts us up to 2,515 points, which is 15 points above the rank of Corporal. That's what we wanted. There we go. Look at this. Uh, hmm. Well, we got three skill points. We can go for four assistants and remove five screws at a time. I don't think that that doesn't really matter. The additional ten minutes. A uh, couple of bottles of brandy sent to the right people. Ensure that you're always first in line for fuel and spare parts. On all tasks with time limits, you have an additional ten minutes. Those couple of bottles of brandy seem to do the trick. Brandy always works in the armed forces. Certainly, well, in the UK, anyway. Uh, right, as... This, this, I'm, I'm talking about the war. I, I've no idea. This, I haven't got a clue. Uh, main, fixing parts is as easy as pie. Oh, that just makes it a little bit easier when we've got them on the bench. So, no, really what I want is this. Coolant system specialist. Oh, ignition system. You don't need to check every spark plug. Now, that is a real bonus. And then we've got the coolant system. You don't need to check every part to locate the problem. I don't even know what the coolant system is. And then oil system over here. We've got basically everything is kind of going to be told for us. So that's what we want. That's that's how we want to do this. I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.